AI. So today we'll be learning about automated penetration testing, specifically directed to its web applications, meaning literally trying to hack websites. And now before we go any further, remember kids, hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, you go to jail and it's game over. You never get to see Hacker Lloyd's videos anymore. And that will be really disappointing. And at the same time, if you get caught and the police ask you, where did you learn this from? Do not tell them that you know who is Mr. Hacker Lloyd. <laughs> tell them you learned it from someone else. So the first thing you need is a computer. I mean, without a computer, what are you going to even hack? And of course, at the same time, how did you even get to this YouTube video without a computer? Okay, it could be a mobile device as well, where it is pre-installed with Kali Linux. And at the same time, because of Kali Linux, you also have OWASP Zap that's also installed, which we'll be using as our automated hacking tool. The next thing you need, of course, is a website that you can go ahead and target. And of course, on the website, when you hit into the URL, say loyliangyang.com, you'll be able to identify all these different types of input fields, links, JavaScript, CSS, and so on and so forth, that will then allow you to have an idea of what's going on across the site. So that's what we call spidering. And the next thing we'll be doing is to use OWSP Zap to automatically help us. One is to passively scan against the pages that we're navigating towards. And number two, to launch automated attacks where we can quickly inject all those different type of payloads. Say, for example, it could be a SQL injection attack. It could be a cross-site scripting attack. Analyze goes on. And this very quickly helps you become a script kitty. I'm just kidding. We'll learn a little more as we go along. Now, go ahead and put on your thinking hat. And when you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So right in front of us, we got Kala Linux running. And you can go to the top left corner under the menu, enter ZAP, hit enter on that. And that would help us start Zap Proxy. Quickly as that, as simple as that. And once it is running, we'll be able to start launching attacks against different sites. And as the pop-up comes up, do you want to persist the Zap session? So you have several options, right? One option in this case that we're selecting is no, I do not want to persist this session at this moment in time because we are just going to test our specific server and end off the session. However, in other cases, perhaps you need to be able to target a site for weeks or months or years. Then in that case, perhaps you want to persist those sessions. So you can select onto the other options in that case. Okay, so let's go ahead and click start on this. And right here, there are two options available for us. Option one is called the automated scan. This means that you just troll a website domain name, say loyliangyang.com or any of your target site that you have permissions to. Right? Remember that you must have consent. Select on it, click on it, run it, and that's it, game over, you're in. Or I mean, the others you found vulnerabilities for it. The second option is really interesting. The second option is where we can navigate across the site and we can passively look out for all these different pages that may contain vulnerabilities without alerting firewall, without alerting the defense systems that is protecting the website. Else the security operations center people will be awake, they'll get an alarm, they'll call the police, and then you go to jail. <laughs> now, in this case, let's say I have a website right here. I just have to go over to the URL, copy it, go back over into Zap, click under automated scan, paste it over here. In this case, I'll be using Ajax Spider because this OWSP juice shop is running on a little different type of platform. So once you're ready, click attack. And you can see right here, we first spider across the entire site. And the reason for spidering is because we want to uncover all these different parts of the sites that we can target. So in this case, what I can do now is I can hit over under spider. And you can see right here, we're going over to different parts of the site and seeing where are all the different pages? And as we're running through the spider, you can go to the top left corner under sites. You can expand onto target site. And you can see right here, all right, we have 192.168.0.106. We have 3000. And what we can see here now is that we can expand onto, say, API, the challenges, quantities. So all this are the different parts of the site that we can target. All right. At the same time, there's also assets, rest, and so on and so forth. So we are crawling through the site. And once the crawl has been completed, we will then run active scan against the site. So what it does for us here is that this allows us to start injecting malicious payload into the site, like SQL injection, cross-site scripting attack, operating system command injection, and so on and so forth. And as we are running through all of this scan, you can see at the bottom left of Zap all those different high, medium, low information alerts about the site. So if we are able to disclose different parts of the site, right, vulnerabilities of them, then we'll be able to see them directly from the alerts that you're seeing here under this tab. So from the alerts tab, you can see over here, all these are the different 
potential vulnerabilities that we have found that has been injected with the payloads by default with Zap. So let's say I open up on this, it says the following latest metadata all right so this in this case we have cloud metadata potentially exposed all right i can also expand onto content security policy cross domain mis misconfiguration and, and the list goes on and we can easily double click onto any of this alerts double clicked on it and we can edit onto the alert all right so we can see more information about the alert all right so in this case we have the content security policy okay I can close on this one i can scroll down further and we can see like missing empty click jacking header session id and url rewrite so we can see all this different details that's directly available for us right here however you may go into a website that has a login page in order to interact with the site and different parts of the site in that case what you can do here is you can go back to zap go over into quick start again and now in this case we'll select onto option two, which is manual explore, clicked onto it, and we can paste the URL, all right, off the target side. Okay, we paste it over here, and this is super cool. You click under the hits up display, all right? So this, what it does is like playing a computer game, all right? You have the stats, you have different informations directly as you're browsing through the site. All right, so once you're ready, just click onto launch browser. It launches a specific browser that you specify, and right here, wait for it. This is really nice. Welcome to the Zap Hits Up display. So once you're over here, all you got to do right now is go ahead and continue to your target. So on the left side, you have all these different alerts for the current page. And on the right side, you have the alerts for the entire site. And at the same time, you can also start spidering on the site. You can start attacking the site, all right, using an active scan and so on. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and select onto scope. So we're saying that, yes, we want to add the current domain to scope, click add. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and lock right in. All right, click login and done. All right, so what I can do now is I can hit over, all right, to say select a specific page that we want to target. So as you're navigating through the site, all these are the different pages that you can easily target on. In this case, I've selected the following and I can enter, say, I want to search for a movie for hacker, hacker's movie. I search, no movies were found, and you can see right at the bottom, there's a pop-up, all right? So there are additional information that we can get as they come up, as we're navigating through the site. So we're not actively probing them. We're passively scanning through all these pages, JavaScript and whatnot, and trying to identify all these vulnerabilities that's associated with it. And at the same time, if we want to target specifically on the page, I can say, go back to Zap, and what I can do now is can expand onto 192.168.0.184. I expand on this and all these other sites are not my target. So I can select on them, do a right click and delete them. All right, as simple as that. And now I can focus on BWAPP as the target directory or page, okay? And over here, you can see the following. We did a submission right here. I select on this, I select on the request and you can see the HTTP requests. All right, so in this case, we have the title and action equals search and we get a response from the website. All right, so what I can do now is I can do a right click, select under attack and click under active scan. And from active scan, we have several options available for us. All right, so we can say, what are the input vectors, custom vectors, technology, perhaps you know what is the backend database and so on and so forth. And once you're ready, just go ahead and click start scan. And right now we are actively probing that page. And as you can see here, we have the percentage. You can also select under the show scan progress details. And these are the different type of malicious payloads that it's injecting over into the site, like remote code execution, external redirect, and the list goes on, all right? So we're seeing the progress, all right? So we can see how long it's elapsed, right? Cross-site scripting, DOM base, and so on. And once you are done, you can see right at the bottom left again, all the different alerts, or you can click onto the alerts tab. And from the alerts tab, all right, we got some really high alerts and we can expand on them. All right, so we have say SQL injection attack. I can select onto it, double click onto it, and we can see over here, we have the URL, all right? So this is the URL, which also includes the payload, as you can see, the title, hacker, and one, or one equal one, and action, so on and so forth, right? So we have specific attack payload, SQL injection may be possible. So what I can do now is I can go ahead and copy the URL, go back over into the site, right? Perhaps I can go over to normal browser, I expand on this, I hit enter on that, see what we get right here. Okay, so in this case, we need a login. Let's go back over to one that is having the heads up display with Zap. So I can open a new tab, paste it over here, hit enter on that, 
and let's see if we get any results from it okay nothing so what if i enter say hacker all right oops let me enter the right payload hacker okay and let me go back to zap take a look at the payload over here copy it go back here paste it click search boom <laughs> done we got all of the movie titles right here going back to zap we also have other alerts right here so in this case not just sql injection vulnerability we have another one which is an attack in this case it's cross-site scripting reflected okay so what i can do now is perhaps i can once again copy the attack go back into the browser paste it over here click search boom <laughs> and another vulnerability discovered so really quickly we were able to uncover all these vulnerabilities from a very simple automated tool that can help us target different parts of the site really quickly additionally you can select onto the request you can do a right click and select fuss and over here this is the part which allow us the ability to target very specific part of the sites and see what's going on so in this case say we have certain parameters values and whatnot and perhaps i want to use my own payload so in this case i can enter say okay i'll go ahead and enter say hacker that's it all right i'll go ahead and change this up a little bit and i'll change this to say hacker and safe and what i can do is double click on this click at as the fast location and once we're here on the payloads, we can click add. So what do we want to target? Okay, so is it string? Is it different types of value? All right, so all these are things that we can easily target to it. So in this case, I can select on a file. I can select over here. So I can go under the following of USR, hit enter on that, share, word list. Okay, let's go ahead and find word list. Hit enter on that. I can select under say, the following of w fuss all right and we have say injection attacks and in this case let's go ahead and use sql so these are the list of payloads that we'll be using on our own instead of the one that comes out of the box with zap so these are the kind of customization you can do as part of fuzzing against the different parts of the site click ok on that you can see on the bottom right click start fuzzer and right now it's fuzzing for us all right so we are able to see what's going on so the progress the information of it all right so we're able to see what's going on okay so right here you can see that the fast is completed you can see the original all right and then we can see right at the bottom state reflected and you can click onto them and you can see the requests all right so here all these are different payloads that you've supplied and a response from the server okay so this at the bottom as you can see you have error in a sql syntax so it means that it is likely vulnerable, meaning that we can try to reuse this to craft out more specific type of SQL injection payload. 